The curve has parametric equations x equals 1 over t plus 1 and y equals t minus 1. The line y equals 3x intersects the curve at two points. Show that the value of t at one of these points is minus 2 and find the value of t at the other point. Find the equation of the normal to the curve at the point for which t equals minus 2. Find the equation of t at the point Find the value of t at the point where this normal meets the curve again. Find a Cartesian equation of the curve, giving your answer in the form y equals f of x. So here's the question in summary form then. Um, this line cuts the curve at two points. Show that the value of t at one of these points is minus 2 and find the other value. So let's have a look at this then. Um, y equals 3x. So part 1. So for this line to intersect, we'll have y, t minus 1, is equal to 3, uh, x, which is 1 over t plus 1. And we can solve for t, and we'll get two values of t, one of which will be minus 2, isn't it? So let's solve that then. So here we'll move the t plus 1 up to be with the t minus 1. And we'll get t minus 1 times t plus 1, which we can write down straight away as t squared minus 1 because that's t minus 1 times the t plus 1. That will equal the 3. That tells us that t squared equals 4 when we move the minus 1 over to plus 1. Square root both sides, t is equal to plus or minus 2. So as we said, t equals minus 2 is one of these, and the other value is plus 2. Find the normal at t equals minus 2 then. Okay. Um, Right, so here's x and y. Here's um, x is equal to 1 over t plus 1. Uh, y is equal to t minus 1. So we want to find the uh, normal uh, at t equals minus 2. So part 2 now. So we need the gradient, don't we? dx dt then is something to the minus 1 basically, is minus 1 over the something squared multiplied by the something differentiated which is 1 dy dt differentiate this, it differentiates to 1 and this is 0 so at uh, t equals uh, minus 2 then dy dx is equal to uh, 1 over 1 over this, dy dt over, uh, dy dx over dx dt, 1 over this. There's a minus here, but basically 1 over 1 over something brings this thing that's underneath underneath right up to the top, doesn't it? So it's t plus 1 squared, and that's at minus 2, which equals minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, minus 1 squared is 1, so it's minus 1, so dy dx equals minus 1. So the normal has gradient 1, doesn't it? So find the normal at t equals minus 2. At t equals minus 2 then the normal is the equation of the normal at t equals minus 2 is y minus. Now when we put minus 2 in for y, the y coordinate, we get minus 3 so it'll be minus 3. So I'll put that down explicitly. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So x is minus 1. And y is equal to minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So y minus the minus 3 equals the gradient of the normal, which will be 1, times x, because 1 times minus 1, the tangent gradient is minus 1. So x minus the x coordinate, which is minus 1. So y is equal to x plus 1 minus 3, so it's minus 2. So we've got the equation of the normal. Find the value of t where this normal meets the curve again. So where does this normal meet the curve again? So here we've got y equals x minus 2. So let's put in our values. So here, y, which is t minus 1, is equal to x, 1 over t plus 1, um, 
minus 2. So move the 2 to plus 2 and you get t plus 1. t plus 1 over here. Then when you move the 2 over, it equals 1 over t plus 1. So we can move the t plus 1 up to get t plus 1 squared is equal to 1. Square root both sides. t plus 1 will equal plus or minus 1. So that tells us then that t is equal to, move that to minus, you get minus 2, or you get 0. There's our solution set. So the other value, when this normal meets the curve again, the value equals of t is 0. So that's part 3. Okay, that was part 3. Find, find a Cartesian equation in form y equals f of x for this curve. So that was part 3, wasn't it? Now we do part 4. We need the Cartesian equation. Part 4. Okay, so what have we got for our parameters then? Let's have a look and remind ourselves. Um, 1 over t plus t minus 1, 1 over t plus 1 x is 1 over t plus 1, y is equal to t minus 1. So, um, x is equal to 1 over t, which is y plus 1, plus 1, which is y plus 2. So that tells us then that y plus 2, move that up to the other side, up here, and move the x down, 1 over x. And so that tells us y is equal to 1 over x minus 2. And that's in explicit form y equals a function of x, which is what we wanted.